Boxing and karate are both popular combat sports that involve striking techniques, but they have distinct origins, rule sets, and training methods. Western boxing, also known as the sweet science, originated in the West and is primarily focused on punches and footwork. Japanese striking, which includes karate, has its roots in traditional martial arts and incorporates a broader range of striking techniques along with various other aspects like kicks, knee strikes, and elbow strikes. Here are some key points to consider when comparing Western boxing and Japanese striking. 1. Techniques Western boxing emphasizes punches, including jabs, crosses, hooks, and uppercuts. Boxers are trained to deliver powerful and accurate punches while utilizing head movement and footwork to avoid incoming strikes. In contrast, Japanese striking arts like karate incorporate a wider variety of strikes, including punches, kicks, knee strikes, and elbow strikes. Karataka also learn various blocks, evasions, and counters. 2. Footwork and Movement Footwork is crucial in both disciplines, but boxing places a significant emphasis on efficient movement around the ring. Boxers often use lateral movement, angles, and quick footwork to create openings and evade incoming strikes. Karataka also utilize footwork, but it may vary depending on the specific style of karate being practiced. 3. Defense Boxing defense primarily relies on head movement, evasive footwork, and blocking punches with gloves. Boxers are trained to slip, duck, weave, and parry incoming strikes while staying in position to counterattack. Karate practitioners typically learn various blocks, including strikes with different parts of the body, to defend against incoming attacks. 4. Competition Rules Boxing matches usually take place in a ring, and participants aim to score points by landing punches on their opponent while avoiding being hit. Knocking an opponent down for a count of 10 results in a knockout victory. Karate competitions can vary depending on the style, but they generally involve strikes, kicks, and sometimes takedowns. Points are awarded for clean, controlled strikes to specific target areas. 5. Training Methods Boxing training often includes a combination of shadow boxing, heavy bag work, pad work, sparring, and conditioning exercises. The focus is on developing punching power, speed, accuracy, and endurance. Karate training typically involves practicing katas, prearranged forms, kumite, sparring, and various conditioning drills to enhance striking techniques, flexibility, and overall physical conditioning. Ultimately, the choice between Western boxing and Japanese striking like karate depends on individual preferences, goals, and interests. Both disciplines offer unique training experiences and can be highly effective in their respective contexts. Some individuals may prefer the simplicity and focus on punches in boxing, while others may appreciate the broader range of strikes and techniques found in Japanese striking arts like karate.